Sobat 100 Still With Me Nurma in 100 Institute Program So we are going to talk about Recontext Recontext is a text which retells events or experiences in the past And the function is to entertain or to inform the reader And there is no complication in Recontext jadi, recount text adalah teks yang menceritakan kembali suatu pengalaman di masa lalu. Dan fungsi dari recount text adalah untuk memberikan informasi ataupun menghibur pembaca. Yang perlu diingat dalam recount text adalah tidak ada permasalahan di dalam teks tersebut. Inilah yang membedakan recount text dengan naratif teks. Recount text can be found in diary, historical records, biography, or autobiography. For example, my vacation in Bali, my experience in my grandma's house. Nah, bagi yang pernah menulis diary, tanpa kalian sadari, kalian sudah menulis sebuah recount text. And next, the generic structure of recount text. The first one is orientation, introducing the characters and the setting. In here, kalian dapat menjelaskan karakter, nama tempat, dan waktu di dalam cerita. The second is events, telling what happens in a chronological order. Dan yang kedua, di paragraf ini kalian menceritakan kembali pengalaman kalian sesuai dengan urutan kejadian. And the third one is reorientation, this is the ending of the story. Di bagian penutup, kalian dapat menuliskan tentang perasaan kalian pada waktu itu untuk dijadikan penutup. Oke, okay, next, language features. Language feature adalah ciri-ciri kebahasaan dari teks tersebut. Dan ciri-ciri di dalam recount text ada past tense, personal participant like I, my mother, my group, my grandpa, and etc. And then adverb or adverbial phrase like on Saturday, on Monday... And then we use action verb And the last one is adjective Karena recount text menceritakan pengalaman di masa lalu Jadi tenses yang digunakan adalah past tense And then this is the example of recount text A beautiful day at Jogja As we can see in the first paragraph This is the orientation And the second is events di sini kita menceritakan pengalaman sesuai dengan urutan kejadian. Kita bisa menggunakan adverb like firstly, secondly, thirdly. And then the last paragraph is reorientation and this is the ending of the story. Di sini penulis menjelaskan tentang pengalamannya atau perasaannya pada waktu itu. And the next is question and answer about recount text and this is the text about recount text as we can see there are three paragraphs in here and then we can go to the question the question is the sound of falling water made the writer want to swim B. Contemplate C. Less tense And then D. Change her or his attitude And the answer is C. For the discussion, we can look at the second paragraph Hearing the sound of falling water while swimming made me feel peaceful and relaxed And the closest meaning to the description is less tense The next question is The water in Lembah Pelangi Waterfall is clean and fresh And it's probably due to its location is The answer is A And the discussion is in the second paragraph The writer explains us about the atmosphere around the waterfall The waterfall is surrounded by the trees I could see only green, green, and green And the answer is A Okay, we have learned about recount text and it's all done If you want to know more videos about English, click the next video. See you!